do you want to know the real reason why Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Air Force Uber request was denied by President Biden? Well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more details in this Daily Nerd starting right now. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness before i jump into all the juicy two see details with this video's main topic there is a little bit of housekeeping firstly youtube human reviewer i see you lurking i'm not gonna say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes and to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video hey up how are you all doing if you've got some very strong feelings about this particular topic then why not send me a super thanks it's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and oh yeah let's jump into this one shall we so news broke last week uh, that Hazza and Megzi had asked to use Air Force One after the Queen's funeral, but got denied. Now, sources had told the Daily Mail uh, last week on Wednesday that it was an immediate no from the White House, adding that the request was, quote, a non-starter. The other source added it would have caused such a commotion, it would have strained relations with the palace and the new king. So this is essentially... The real reason that we're going to come on to now why Hazza and Megzi were denied their request for an Air Force Uber. So, yeah, it would have caused such a commotion. It would have strained relations with the palace and the new king. Strained relations between the US government and Buckingham Palace. Oh, yes. Now, it was only earlier on this month around the 10th of July, that President Joe Biden met with King Charles III. And here is uh, an official White House statement saying President Joseph R. Biden Jr. met today with King Charles III at Windsor Castle. They underscored the strength of the relationship between the United States and the United Kingdom and the friendship between our people. So, yeah, if they did actually accept Megzi's and Hazard's request for the Air Force Uber, oh yeah, I think King Charles would have something to say about that and would not be best pleased. So following the meeting, uh, they engaged with a group of leading philanthropists and investors focused on mobilising finance to address the climate crisis. Now, if you think this is the first time that President Joe Biden and King Charles have spoken about the climate crisis situation, then think again. There is actually a history between these two of mutual respect and understanding. Yes, so we go back to 2021, two years ago. Uh, Prince Charles and Joe Biden held a meeting at the COP26 Climate Change Summit in Glasgow. Uh, and he was caught on camera actually giving a lot of praise to the then Prince Charles, right? Now, before the chat, they were filmed talking as they prepared to line up to have their photograph taken and all that, the photo opportunity. In the clip, President Biden could be heard praising King Charles for his work in highlighting the importance of solving environmental problems, saying he is a key player in the fight. Uh, in the footage, King Charles jokes, you have got enough people without me. Uh, but President Biden, he's like shaking his hand and replies, look, no, 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 by the way, we need you badly. I'm not just saying you got the whole thing going. That's how it started. So this is the thing, right? Think about it. Megzi and Hazza made this request for an Air Force Uber. And in another reality, President Joe Biden be like, oh, yeah, hitch a ride with us. That's absolutely fair enough. PayPal us on the way out kind of thing with a payment. Yeah, this whole situation here, this apparent friendship between President Joe Biden and King Charles would be done. 
because by allowing Megzi and Haza to hitch a ride on the Air Force Uber, it would show, as far as we're concerned, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, right, that President Joe Biden fully supports Prince Haza and Megzi. And what have they been doing for the last three years? In a pity conspiracy theory, whatever, attacking the royal family and the British public. President Biden wants to maintain good relations with the UK government and the royal family. He can't be seen siding with Megzi or Hazza or giving them any support whatsoever. That would definitely strain relations between the two. It just would. It's as simple as that. But this is the thing. Joe Biden said even more to King Charles. So a Biden administration official later said at the meeting, President Biden reaffirmed the strength of the enduring ties between the United Kingdom and the United States. And he thanked the United Kingdom for hosting COP26. Right? Again, this reaffirming the strength of the enduring ties. If he accepted Megzi and Hazard's request for an Air Force Uber, I'm telling you, those ties would be weakened, considerably weakened. King Charles would not have approved, that is for sure. Um, he also, as well, President Biden commended the royal family for its dedication to climate issues, particularly Prince Charles's environmental activism over the last half a century. Absolutely, guys, absolutely. Prince Charles definitely took after his father, Prince Philip, when it comes to the environment. Uh, look back on your history, okay? Because Prince Philip was absolutely instrumental, okay, in actually establishing WWF. He really, really was, okay? And so Prince Charles looked at his father, looked at his father's environmentalism and took that on board to the point where Highgrove, at the time when he bought it, okay, the garden was a mess, everything was a mess, right? King Charles had this vision of Highgrove being this wonderful, organic, self-sufficient, environmentally friendly kind of place, right? And what has he done? Oh my goodness, has he achieved that and then some. It's insane. One of his cars, what the hell, it runs on wine. Literally, okay, it runs on wine, alcohol. He has one of the best, biggest organic gardens in the country. King Charles, whether you support him or not, is one of the leaders when it comes to protecting the environment and climate change. Absolutely. So when you've got President Joe Biden, two years ago, giving Prince Charles, then Prince Charles, praise, quite rightly, to all his dedication over the years to protect the environment and, you know, uh, combat climate change, this, that, and the other. And more recently, this month, meeting up with King Charles, again discussing the same thing, environmentalism, the climate crisis, this, that, and the other, right? You really think he's going to put all of that in jeopardy by accepting Hazza and Megzi's Air Force Uber request to go back to America after the uh, Queen Elizabeth II's funeral? I don't think so. Uh, with that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Hazard and Megs's Air Force Uber request, then why not send me a super thanks? It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.